Hello friends, welcome to today's lesson. Today we're learning about unit of distance. What is distance and how can we measure distance? Distance is the gap between two things or two places. The gap between my house and my school is distance. It could also be called length. The length of my science notebook. We can measure distance using some parts of our bodies like our foot and our hands. The hand span. Whenever we measure distance using our hands, the unit is the hand span. Short distances could be measured using our hands. Short distances like the length of the dining table or the length of our notebooks. Now, hands are not good for long distances because we might get tired or our answers might be inaccurate. So let's measure the length of this mat. How many hand spans do you think this mat is? One hand span, two hand span, three hand spans. We found out that this mat in length is three hand spans. It was quite easy because the mat is a short distance. If it were to be a long distance, it might be quite stressful. Let's take a look at the next way to measure distances using some parts of our body. Now, the foot span. The foot span is the unit whenever we measure long distances or short distances with our feet. We could measure the length of our living room or we could also measure the length of the football goal post. Now, let's measure the length of the two edged arrow below and see how many foot spans it is. One foot span, two foot spans and three foot spans. The arrow measures three foot spans and if you notice carefully you see your foot has to line up in a horizontal direction that is each foot follows the previous one for you to be able to have a better and accurate reading so it measures three foot spans and whenever we measure distances with our feet it's easy if we measure short distances rather than long distances so we'll get a better and a more accurate answer now, here's an activity you should do use your hands to measure the length of your science notebook two use your feet to measure the length of your living room and write out the measurements on your notebook your science notebook has a short length so your hands could cover it up and also your living room should you should be able to measure it with your feet so i hope you learned something new today see you next time bye